What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to episode 8. What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to episode 7 of ReZero. I'm excited to get into today's episode now that we just found out that Rem is the assailant behind Subaru's attacks. So I'm just like, honest to God, I'm just mostly very confused as to why the hell that's going on. Like, like what's your issue, queen? Who hurt you? Why? Anyways, if you guys like to see my uncut reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description. Help support me and the channel on my Patreon. And without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, genuinely, what the actual hell? I thought her hair was purple. So Ram doesn't know that. Okay, Ram doesn't know. I can't believe you actually managed to escape. What the hell? <laughs> His leg got caught off now? Ram, what the fuck, dude? He wouldn't want to stab you. No, bro. Nobody hired him, you freak. He's not lying. Why, bro? Say that again. Even if I know my sister only acts friendly with and pretends to care for you. Okay, who the fuck is the jealous witch? Damn. Poor baby. It's so hard to appeal to somebody who has no memories of the sweet things you have. She's ruthless. Dude, he hasn't done anything wrong. Like, she's so paranoid, and for what? Like, who was the evil witch? What did she do to them? <laughs> Baby. Why don't why can't you tell them the truth? Oh, 
Tell her. Exactly what I've been saying. <gasps> he can't share it? Oh, that's some bullshit. Dude, who did this to him? He can't share it. Dude, who's doing this to him? How did he get this? Oh, he wants a protector? I don't think that's the case. Mm. <laughs> Stop. I mean, they, she did. The smell of the witch? So he's been cursed by the witch. I think you need to learn about her, dude. Tell me about the jealous witch. Mm. I wish I could see what happens post him dying, like what goes on. She's going to protect him with magic? Thank you, Betty. I'm pretty sure only sure she only looks like a little girl, but I think she's grown. <laughs> He's being cursed by all the trauma, of course. I don't blame him. But why is the, the jealous witch like curse him? Like why what the fuck is going on? Oh, did Amelia just hold his hands? Or is that Betty protecting him? What is going on? I think it's best to hide there since nobody can find her. So who held his hand? Why isn't he trying to learn? I'm so confused by his behavior. 
To be fair, now that he can read, he can actually learn. I'm worried for him. Don't! Don't! Sunlight? You need to make it to the fifth day? Is that Emilia? What's going on? What the fuck? Did she die? She didn't do it. He, I can understand why they're like suspicious of him, but he didn't do anything though. What the fuck is going on? I'm fucking tripping balls. I can't figure what's going on. Did Betty drain her of mana to protect him? It was because of the contract? And who the fuck? What the hell? But he can't. Thank you for protecting him. It was both of them who killed him. gonna hit him and weird fetishes I suppose what is going on it wasn't him Is he gonna kill himself? Is he gonna kill himself to try and save her? I understand. I mean, he's afraid. What is happening with him? I 
I think he forgets that he's literally like been isekai into a world. Like this isn't something that we should just be like casually living through. <laughs> the thing that killed his leg was like that removed his leg was like a spell. So I'm going to assume that it was Ram who did that one. I think they were both doing it, perhaps. Like I'm not really sure. You can reset. I think it will just reset. Is it gonna jump off? Oh my god. That's so scary. Don't. I, Subaru. Oh, this is so triggering. Hi, Beatrice. Aww, Betty. I get it. But they can. <laughs> I feel like she somewhat knows. They were consoling him? Yeah, he's gonna- he's gonna die. Pain. He's gonna kill himself, isn't he? No, he doesn't- he's not satisfied with just saving his own. He's going to terminate the contract. <laughs> He's going to end the contract. He's not accepting fate. I'm challenging it. Mm. Good. Not for long.
Yeah, this is what happens when you stayed in bed. That you're both kind. <gasps> He's gonna jump off the cliff just for them. Just for them. Just for them. Subaru, that's such a hard thing to do, especially when you're not even sure that you can relive another day. That's so goddamn fucking terrible. That is like literally the most literal version like of like self-sacrifice. It couldn't get any more literal if you fucking tried, genuinely. That is literally the most extreme version of self-sacrifice you could ever get. Like it's incredibly morbid and very nauseating if I'm honest. Um, genuinely, like I feel so bad for him. And I just, I really want him to learn more about the history, about the whole witch situation, what's going on. It's clear that the stench of the witch is on him. Like, why isn't he reading books now that he can read about it? I just want him to learn about it so that we know what the fuck is going on personally. But it's just so disheartening to see him like go through such intense fear and such intense trauma. And like, it's just like building up inside of him that he's just so afraid and I can't blame him. Nobody can truly. Oh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time for another one. Bye bye.